Hello peeps, I am 30 and welcome to episode 73 I think we have come up to now. And as you can see on the title, the last episode. I have come to a decision, I did some thinking between episodes and I decided that um, this campaign is finished. The Mother of Us All one is also very soon done also. So we have almost made the entire thing down here the Bori religion but we still have some ways to go before that's the case but we're very close but I, what I want to do is I want to stop this campaign and I want to focus on the Imperator one because that's the one that most of you watches right now and it's more it's newer it's more fun this is his steam roll by right now and I see no reason to continue with this one we are done we have done we have done what we achieved wanted to achieve we went from where little Count Arabo started off in the county of Passau. This is where the first one, Arabo the first, was born. And he was born there. He had his dream about becoming the Roman Emperor and restoring the Empire to its former glory and beyond. And that's exactly what our dynasty has done. What can we see the history of the character? Lineage. As we can see, we started off. With Duke Aribu the first, he died, of course, from being fat, <laughs> while still being a young man, I remember him. Then we had the Duke Isanrich the first, and he died of old age at the age of 64. Then we had Isanrich the first, the emperor then, he was 66. Then we had Aribu the first, he had the same name as the first guy, but he was actually an emperor. And he also died of old age, 64. 66 and 64 i think they have a thing for 64 to 66 that that span then we had emperor arabo the fifth the, uh, the the second i guess he was only 57 he died of a seizure then we had leo who was 60. those first people of the line didn't really become that old i'm telling you and then we had lampert and we finally started living for a little bit longer leo Leo and Octavian. No one in our entire family has lived until he's been 80. Not even close. The oldest anyone got was the Emperor Lampert. He became 74 years old. Of course, Leo III got assassinated by Octavian. Which is the person before us. And he is dead because he died of cancer. And then we became the Emperor. And I'm apparently very tiny. You're Manicus. And he's the current emperor of the Arabonan line, the this most splendorous ra dynasty to ever have ruled over the Roman Empire. Empire, an empire now spanning from the coast of Hibernia island all the way over to India in the east, down below from the desert of Sahara up until the cold, cold coastlines of Denmark and Norway. It's an incredible achievement, guys. It's been an incredible run. It has been very fun. I have enjoyed this a lot. It was a slightly, it was a slightly more difficult start than the Byzantine Empire itself, obviously, because the Byzantine Empire are overpowered in the early game. But it was a fun run. We didn't take entirety of India, but that doesn't really matter. It it looks like we own almost everything that's down in India. I think no one will care about it in the end. But as I said, I'm going to make the Imperator Rome the main series um, instead of this one. It's going to be uploaded once per day on weekdays. <coughs> Pardon. It's going to be uploaded at 6 p.m. G no, 5 p.m. if you go by GMT. I have GMT plus one here in Sweden. So 5 p.m. every day, that one is going to be uploaded five times per week. The only thing is I'm going to decrease the length of the videos. The, instead of being one hour, I'm going to make them probably more about half an hour, 40 minutes. Just because of my schedule. I can't record one hour episodes of that every single day. I, I can't keep up. It's a different thing when I only upload one video per day on the weekends. Because it's weekends and I only upload one video. It's, it's easier. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the Imperator one the main series. It's going to be uploaded, as I said, once per day on the weekday, so five videos per week if I can keep up. And during the weekends, I want to do something 
else I want to play something, probably a different game. Or, uh, and that's where I want your help. Which game would you like me to play? Um, I have one condition. The game has to be a historical one. It has to be a historical game. Two, it probably has to be a strategy game as well. It's, it's not one condition anymore. <laughs> and I would like if, if it had Romans. It doesn't have to have Romans in it, but I would like if they had Romans. I know, I know the obvious games are the Total War games, and I have, I have Rome 2, I have Rome 1, and I have Attila, so I have those games. I could play any of those three games if you want me to. In, my own, in, all, in all honesty, I prefer Rome 1, but I'm a bit old, so that's the reason why I played that when I was young. But uh, it's up to you. Which game would you like me to like to see me play on the weekends? Because uh, weekends is basically when I play something else. It's the opportunity for you to see me play something else. The game of your liking. With those conditions. It has to be historical games and it has to be a strategy game. It might, I could potentially play another game if, if you give a really good cast for it. But keep in mind that if you give me a game that I don't own, I have to buy it. Not have a tight, a very tight budget. So that's probably not going to be the case then. But um, tell me which game you would like me to see play on the weekends. And I would love that if you can give me some tips and hints on what you want to see me play. What do you want to watch? And hopefully you will keep on watching the Imperator one as well, as well as the Mother of Us All one until we are finished with that one. And when we're done with that one, I will need some ideas on what you want me to do in CK3 because I'm still going to keep on playing. Sorry for hitting the mic, by the way. I'm going to keep on playing this game. I'm not going to leave it. And there's a new patch coming out very soon, so I'm going to make a patch update video about that one as well. So whenever that patch came, comes out, I'm going to make a patch video. It's, it's not a big patch, it's basically a bit about weather, bringing winter to Europe and Asia. But uh, I'm going to go through that when that date arrives. Um, so, but as I said, I want your hints on tips and advice on which sort of campaign would you like to see me play here in CK3. Of course, I could play modded CK3. If there's a specific mod you would like me to test out, Leave it, leave it down in the comment section. If if there's a specific mod, um, mod, any specific mod to this game that you want me to check out, tell me. And I might check it out in the future. It would be a bit fun play something else. I know there's a lot of mods that you can add to the base game, and I might do that now that I'm finished with this one. And when I'm finished with the Mod of Soul one, I might very much consider adding a few mods to make the gaming experience a bit better for you and for me. For example, the less cuckolded one. I love that mod because it stops people from sleeping around so bloody much. Which is something that annoys me a shit ton, I'm telling you. There's a lot of bastards in this world. A bit too a bit too many of them for being medieval Europe, you would think. But yeah guys, that's everything I think that I wanted to go through. I didn't have a script for this one. I decided on the hum that I'm going to stop doing this campaign, so I, I spoke directly out of my heart, or my mind, for this one. So, uh, I want to thank you for staying with me on this entire campaign until we were finished. It was a very exciting journey, in my opinion. And I do love this game, it's a very fun one. And it was fun to do something else than starting in the Byzantine Empire, so that's great. But as always, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, as well as subscribing to the channel if you aren't subscribed already, so, don't, so you don't miss out on any future content. And as I said, leave a comment down below on the issues that I have brought up before about, if I can remember, which games would you like me to play on the weekends? Which sort of campaign would you like me to, to do in CK3? And would you like me to do a modded campaign? I think those are basically the three main points that I brought up. I don't remember exactly, but I think that was the main points. So, th those are the things you have to consider when you leave a comment. You can of course just leave a comment about anything if you want to, but those are the things that I would like your opinions on. Those three things. So, uh, that's everything for me today, guys. So, see you soon. And take care.